Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, we're diving into the topic of debunking nutrition myths, the truth you need to know. Whether you're looking to cleanse, revitalize, or enhance your wellness, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll explore an introduction to nutrition myths, then outline seven food myths. Stick around because the seventh myth is so important. Finally, we'll outline the sustainable, balanced approach to nutrition for your wellness, and you'll have a clear, simple roadmap to improve your well-being, step by step. My credentials, purpose, and journey. I'm Gerard, and I'm passionate about guiding you to the real power of holistic wellness. After a decade of struggling with my health from ages 50 to 60, I found my way to healing through holistic practices. Now at age 72, I've enjoyed 12 years of being completely symptom-free thanks to 18 years of daily practice and research. Here on Holistic Wellness 24-7, I share my journey to help you take radical responsibility for your wellness. My videos focus on the how-to of expanding your lifespan and, more importantly, your health span. If I can transform my life, so can you. So let's get started. Are you tired of feeling confused about what to eat? With so much conflicting advice, it's hard to know what's fact and what's fiction. Well, today we're cutting through the noise. We're debunking some of the biggest nutrition myths you've probably fallen for and uncovering the truth that'll help you make healthier choices for life. Have you been misled by common nutrition misconceptions? Let's find out. Let's be honest. Navigating the world of nutrition can feel like trying to solve a puzzle blindfolded. Everywhere you turn, there's a new diet fad, a miracle food or conflicting advice that leaves you feeling more confused than ever. It's time to ditch the confusion and embrace clarity. We're diving deep into some of the most common nutrition myths that have been holding you back from achieving your health goals. Get ready to have your beliefs challenged as we separate fact from fiction and empower you to make informed choices about what you put into your body. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about this misconception that low-fat or fat-free automatically equals healthy. We've all been there, scanning the grocery store aisles, drawn to those labels like moths to a flame. But here's the hard truth. Just because something is low in fat doesn't mean it's good for you. Think about it. When you take the fat out of food, you're often taking away flavor and satisfaction. So what do food companies do? They add a whole bunch of stuff to make up for it. Sugar, artificial sweeteners, and unhealthy additives that you can't even pronounce. These ingredients can spike your blood sugar, lead to cravings, and ultimately sabotage your health goals. Your body needs healthy fats to function properly, especially your brain. Let me repeat that. Your body needs healthy fats. We're talking about the good stuff like avocados, olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish. These healthy fats play a crucial role in everything from hormone production to brain function. They help you absorb vitamins, keep you feeling full and satisfied after meals, and even promote heart health. So ditch the fear of fat and embrace the right ones. Choose whole, unprocessed foods over packaged, processed alternatives. Read your labels carefully and don't be fooled by marketing tactics designed to make you think you're making a healthy choice when you might not be. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about what you're putting into your body, the better equipped you are to make choices that support your overall health and well-being. Stay tuned, because we're just getting started. Up next, we're tackling another big nutrition myth that might surprise you. Let's talk about eggs, those incredible edible wonders that have somehow gained a bad reputation over the years. For the longest time, eggs were demonized for their cholesterol content, leading many to believe that eating them would clog their arteries and lead to heart problems. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's time to crack open the truth about eggs. The cholesterol in eggs doesn't directly translate to an increase in your blood cholesterol levels. In fact, your body regulates cholesterol production based on what you eat. When you consume dietary cholesterol like that found in eggs, your body actually produces less of its own. But here's the real kicker. Eggs are nutritional powerhouses. They're packed with high-quality protein, essential vitamins like B12 and D, and minerals like choline, which is crucial for brain health. Studies have shown that moderate egg consumption doesn't increase the risk of heart disease in healthy individuals. In fact, some studies suggest that eggs might even have heart-protective benefits. So go ahead and enjoy your eggs guilt-free. 
whether you like them scrambled, poached or sunny side up. Embrace the versatility and nutritional value that eggs bring to the table. Remember, it's all about balance and choosing nutrient-dense foods that make you feel your best. Don't let outdated myths dictate your dietary choices. Stay tuned as we continue to debunk more nutrition myths and empower you to take control of your health. All right, let's dive into the world of fats, a topic that's often misunderstood and shrouded in controversy. For years, we've been told that all saturated fat is bad for us, that it clogs our arteries and leads to heart disease. But the truth, as with most things in nutrition, is a bit more nuanced. It's true that not all fats are created equal. Trans fats, those artificially created fats found in many processed foods, are definitely bad news. They've been linked to inflammation, heart disease, and a whole host of other health problems. But saturated fats, the kind found naturally in foods like coconut oil, avocados, grass-fed butter, and even full-fat dairy, can actually be part of a healthy diet when consumed in moderation. The key here is to focus on the quality of your fats. Choose natural, unprocessed sources over processed and refined options. Think about it, would you rather have the saturated fat found naturally in a coconut or the artificial trans fats lurking in a package of processed cookies? When it comes to heart health, it's not just about the type of fat you consume, but also the overall quality of your diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein sources along with moderate amounts of healthy fats is key. So ditch the fear of all saturated fats and embrace a more balanced approach. Choose natural, whole food sources and listen to your body. Stay tuned as we continue our myth-busting journey and uncover more truths about nutrition. We've all heard the mantra, eat your fruits and veggies. And while there's no denying the importance of these nutritional powerhouses, the idea that you need to hit a specific number of servings every single day might not tell the whole story. It's true that fruits and vegetables are packed with essential vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and fiber, all of which play a vital role in maintaining good health. But focusing solely on the number of servings can sometimes overshadow the importance of variety and overall dietary balance. Instead of getting caught up in counting servings, aim for a colorful and diverse plate. Different fruits and vegetables offer different nutrients, so the more variety you include in your diet, the wider the range of health benefits you'll reap. Remember, your body thrives on a balanced approach. While fruits and vegetables are crucial, don't forget about other food groups like lean proteins, healthy fats and whole grains. Each of these plays a unique role in providing your body with the energy and nutrients it needs. So instead of stressing about hitting a specific number of servings, focus on incorporating a variety of fruits and vegetables into your meals and snacks throughout the day. And remember, quality matters. Choose fresh, seasonal produce whenever possible and opt for organic options when available to reduce your exposure to pesticides. Stay tuned as we continue to debunk more nutrition myths and empower you to make informed choices for a healthier life. Let's talk about those bubbly temptations that often promise guilt-free sweetness diet sodas. They're marketed as a healthier alternative to sugary drinks, a way to satisfy your cravings without the calories. But are they really as harmless as they seem? The truth is, those artificial sweeteners lurking in diet sodas might not be doing your body any favors. While they may not contain sugar, they can still wreak havoc on your metabolism, gut health, and even your brain. Artificial sweeteners have been linked to an increased risk of weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. They can disrupt the balance of good bacteria in your gut, leading to digestive issues and potentially even impacting your mood and cognitive function. And let's not forget the chemical cocktail that often accompanies these artificial sweeteners. From artificial colors to preservatives, diet sodas are often loaded with ingredients that you're better off avoiding. If you're looking for a refreshing and truly healthy alternative, ditch the diet soda and opt for plain water, unsweetened tea or sparkling water with a splash of natural fruit juice. These options will quench your thirst without the added chemicals and potential health risks. Remember, true health comes from nourishing your body with real whole foods and beverages. Don't be fooled by marketing tactics that promise a quick fix. 
Stay tuned as we continue to expose more nutrition myths and empower you to make the best choices for your health. In recent years, the gluten-free movement has gained immense popularity, with many people opting to ditch gluten from their diets even without a medical reason. While going gluten-free is essential for those with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, it's important to understand that gluten-free doesn't automatically equal healthy. In fact, many gluten-free products are highly processed and often contain added sugars, unhealthy fats and artificial ingredients to make up for the lack of gluten. These processed gluten-free alternatives can be just as detrimental to your health as their gluten-containing counterparts. If you don't have a medical reason to avoid gluten, there's no need to cut it out of your diet. Whole grains, including those that contain gluten, can be part of a healthy and balanced diet. They provide fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support overall well-being. Instead of focusing on eliminating entire food groups, prioritize the overall quality of your diet. Choose whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible, and read labels carefully to ensure you're making informed choices. Remember, a healthy diet is about balance, variety, and nourishing your body with real nutrient-dense foods. Don't fall prey to marketing hype or dietary trends without understanding the full picture. Stay tuned as we continue to debunk the seventh nutrition myth and it's a shocker. And knowing this fact will empower you to make the best choices for your health. Juicing has gained a reputation for being a healthy way to flood your body with nutrients. While it's true that juices can contain vitamins and minerals, they often lack the fiber and other beneficial compounds found in whole fruits and vegetables. When you juice fruits and vegetables, you're essentially stripping away the fiber, which plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels, promoting digestive health, and keeping you feeling full and satisfied. Without the fiber, the sugars in juice are more rapidly absorbed into your bloodstream, potentially leading to blood sugar spikes and crashes. This can leave you feeling energized for a short period, followed by a crash in energy levels and increased cravings. Moreover, juicing often requires a large quantity of fruits and vegetables to produce a single serving, which can lead to consuming more sugar than you would if you ate the fruits and vegetables whole. While occasional juicing can be a fun way to add variety to your diet, it shouldn't replace whole fruits and vegetables. Make sure you're incorporating plenty of whole, fiber-rich produce into your meals and snacks throughout the day. Remember, true nourishment comes from consuming whole foods in their natural form. Don't fall for the hype of quick fixes or trendy diets. Focus on building a sustainable and healthy relationship with food that nourishes your body from the inside out. Stay tuned as we wrap up our myth-busting journey and empower you to take control of your health. Congratulations on making it to the end of our myth-busting journey. You're now armed with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your health. Remember, it's not about striving for perfection, but rather about making progress one step at a time. Choose nutrient-rich foods that make you feel your best. And don't be afraid to enjoy your favorite treats in moderation. It's all about finding a balance that works for you and your lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, Give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so that I can reveal to you more myth-busting health tips. Let me know in the comments which myth surprised you the most. And if you have any nutrition questions, drop them below. I'd love to help. Together, let's cut through the noise and create a healthier, happier life. See you in the next video.